what is the the difference between the soul's aura and the body's aura? That is bara allt annað í tinni. Það er bara allt annað að tala um orkublík jarlíkamans eða, eða tala um sálina. Það er hreint, hreint eins og að tala um tala um himna festinguna eða bara sandin sem við göngum á. The difference is frequency. And so uh, it's similar to the difference between the sand that you walk on or the sky that you're looking at. The soul aura is on higher frequency and less dense than the body aura. But there are five other auras also. Do they have specific colors or with other words, is there a special meaning to certain colors? Þetta er nú alveg reynt eins og með tónana í, í tónlistinni. Að það er ekkert að segja bara eitt e, e, tón, hann, e, e, tón getur verið í mismunandi blæbreigum og þannig er, eru litinni líka. Þeir, eru, þeir, sko, þeir hafa mismunandi áferð og mismunandi ilm. Það er ekki að tala um ykkur að eitt lit sé meira svona eða eins eða it's not easy to say that one color has one specific meaning because it's like a note on, on your instrument. You cannot say that this note, it all depends on the, on the context and uh, if it's solid or, or less dense and, and it also has texture and movement and, and so um, but nevertheless certain colors do indicate certain qualities uh, we could say as I did you yeah but a certain range of colors <laughs> við það plan sem við erum á það er að við verðum að, að við fyrum heini meginum að Já, your question is uh, is um, approaching the subject from this world and into the next part you have to look at from uh, the other world uh, and it's um, um, it's a we, we could say blue has faith. Uh, purple is uh, uh, magic. Oh. Yeah. So, that is how the white you see little. He is the other one. He is í útgeislun líkamans eða útgeislun tilfinninganna eða útgeislun hugans en þú ert komin inn í sálina þá þýðir hann eitthvað allt allt annað og það er sko allt annar það er ilmur og það er sem sagt það er bara svo misjátt það er svo rosalega það er ekki haft að Eigilega ekki að þetta að segja frá þessu, það er að veðra sjá þetta. You have to experience it to really understand. But she also talks of the colors having fragrance. So, uh, and uh, one specific color has different meaning depending on the f- frequency the color is at. Ah, if it's a body frequency, emotional frequency, uh, uh, what do you call it, mind frequency or soul frequency? So the same color means different things depending on the layer. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, if I understand correctly, she is in a way in both worlds at home, mm. in t- this world and in a more spheric world. So for us, huh? seven worlds. Seven worlds. Mm. Even. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, if we are approaching death, we are, from our mind, think we will go into another world. But mm-hmm. for her, perhaps, this other world 
is already here or how can you explain death? What is death for you? Is this a transition or is it, you know, this Yeah, thing? yeah, that, that is... Þetta er einfalt að segja það, það er líka einfalt að skrifa þetta en, en þegar við fyrðum að þá verðum við náttúrulega að slíta silfurstrengi bara það, þannig að við slítum sambandið á milli okkur sjálfrar og efnisins og við fyrðum inn í annan heim sem við getum við sagt að sé inn í þessum heimi en samt Hann er eiginlega að spegil af þessum heimi en samt öðruvísi og fínlegri og skemmtilegri mörguleiti. Já, the transition, when you die, you sever the silver cord that connects yourself to the physical body. Um, and that, of course, is the transition to, because then your consciousness moves out of your physical body and into the um, higher dimensions that are already here, but still they're not here. The other side is somewhat like a reflection of this side. You could also say, um, um, inverted uh, re reflection uh, of uh, this world and it's usually somewhat a better world mm -hmm. does you do you believe in reincarnation that yeah. means yes it does yeah what so how do you see your future you will reincarnate again again until you reach a certain stage or how do you see the future development of your soul of your being in future incarnations what is the final goal of your whole soul's life yeah and that's what we we byrjum sem ljósbrot frá guði we fáum bara eitt lítið ljósbrot Við sameinumst Guði aftur því að við erum orðin að sól eða með jafn mikinn styrk eins og Guðirnir finnst mér, þetta finnst mér, við þurfum að fara aftur og aftur í skóla en við getum ekki sagt við barn sem að fer í sjóra bekk og barni kemur heim sem ég þarf ekki að fara með í skóla, ég er búin að vera í eitt dag. Þannig er lífið. Við erum að koma aftur og aftur, við fáum allt öðruvísi þroska því að vera fættur á Íslandi eða í Írak eða Japan eða hvað sem er fyrir nöðan allt sólkerfið. Originally you start as a tiny fragment of light or consciousness from God and your purpose is to expand that expand that light until it, you become a sun, like a, uh, you know, equal, equally matching a god or, or the gods. And this you do by repeating the process of incarnating, since each incarnation you add to your, both to your spectrum, and to your luminosity. Uh, it's like a, a seven-year-old child cannot say, I don't need to go back to school, I have done one day. It has to go another day, and another day, mm. and another year, and another year, and another decade. And I would love to show you from her book mm -hmm. this. Uh, the light is no, no, it's okay. It was before. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. So here she's explaining. Uh, this is the the godly spark, if you, the divine spark. And when you're born, you only get like a cord 
down to the physical body. And as you grow older, you start developing your other bodies. Here, the emotional body is starting to develop. And as uh, this is like a child, and here you're like a, a, a young person, a teenager, uh, starting to develop your mind and further developing your emotional body. Here you are a grown person, uh, having developed your soul body and increased the... Yeah, increased the... Further increased uh, the emotional and and, uh, and and the mind, and then you the die. Mind, yeah. You then you die, and and you leave yeah. the physical body, and then you die from there and leave your emotional body. Sorry, mm -hmm. and from there, but you always start collecting everything upwards. And you start dying until you end um, as the divine spark, but with different spectrum and more luminosity. And this is the whole purpose mm -hmm. to develop this. So you're one with God? Uh, always. Mm -hmm. Like more and more one with God? Y yeah. Mm -hmm. And more and more closer and closer to him, yeah. Mm -hmm. Matching him, if you like. She speaks English? Uh, German? N not German, no. no. Because this is in German. Yeah, it's been translated. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Because so I speak German. <laughs> yeah. Og geymum allt sem við höfum læst í kjarnanum, sko. Yeah, so this core, the divine core, stores all the experiences you had in your lifetime and then you repeat mm -hmm. and a different country uh, uh, provides different experience for the divine core to grow or learn from so if you're born born in Iceland you get different experience than if you're born in Iran or Spain or China, so you're you're collecting. Well, the solar system, actually, you mean that? And then the, the solar system, of course. You, you also uh, live on the other planets, but not in physical body. So the other stages mm. might be. Do you remember any lives on yeah. other planets or stars? Yeah, 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 yes. Can yes. you tell a little bit about your life on other, <laughs> if you want? <laughs> Live on another planet, you know, within this solar system or in another whatever, galaxy? Whatever, whatever. Yeah, that is all the ways to find us on Mercury, or Mars. Eða Venus, það er, við höfum fáum mismunandi þroska af því að það er allt aðra verur og allt annað, allt annað líf. En þetta er ekki svona einfalt, þetta er erfitt að segja frá vegna þess að þú getur fengið hundrað eða fleiri hundruð tegundur af lífum bara hérna á jörðinni. Það er ég veit ekki ég veist að það er svolítið kjánalegt að fara að tala um við hvernig er að lifa á þessum stjörnum eða hnöttum því að það fyrir eftir svo mörgu Það er miklu skemmtilega að tala um hvernig það er að fara út úr líkamanum hérna í jarðsviðinu og fljúa til dæmis til Mars eða til Merkur eða til Venusar og tala um það hvernig er tekið á móti manni og hvers konar verur koma á móti, hvers konar andrúsloft er og tíðni heldur en að 
Ja, det är allt och stor spurning. The question was large. Uh, and uh, maybe not answerable. How is life on a different planet? It's, it's just different and, and it varies in so many ways depending if it's Mer Mercury or Venus or Mars and even what I mentioned there. And, um, but it's way more interesting uh, to experience life on other planets from here if you go out of body and travel to the other planets then she can maybe tell us what kind of uh, beings greet you at different places um, and, and this is something she loves doing mm -hmm. yeah. If she has an interaction, a contact with an elf, mm -hmm. yeah. what is happening? We speak now with our little word, words, mm -hmm. and we can also perhaps feel something. But now if you are interacting with an elf, what happens? How do you interchange? How do you react? That, that depends on the conscious level of the elf, of course. Mm -hmm. Because you can have an elf that's like a, a, a butterfly, or a bird, or a cat, mm -hmm. or a dog, or a horse, or even up to a human, or a little mm -hmm. child. So, and the, the way you talk to those <laughs> on the lower is just like you talk to animals. You talk to them and you mm. don't get a reply, unless you try to sense that the dog is in... But perhaps in she can tell us what was perhaps her most, her deepest experience she had with one of these other beings, not the human beings, but all these spirit beings that she sees in, his, in her lifetime now, in this lifetime. What was like an experience she remembers, oh, this was something very exciting, very special. But she can remember some... That's a very kind of story, and I was talking to her with her husband, and I was talking to her with her master, or her kennara, who was learning from her, that her father was coming to her, Í háskóla, við erum með þá í, við erum með þá í barnaskóla. Þær við erum sem er orðnar miklu þroskaðri og fallirri og ég teikna í bókina mína. Já. Það er það sem er. So do you have to give you an example? Mhm. These are different auras, soul auras of ordinary people, her friends and, and, and relatives and what have you. Mm -hmm. And you can picture this vibrant moving, you know, with different textures and, and different luminosity that does not show. But the greatest experience is meeting some of those beings that have great luminosity and shapes. And these are the ones that are studying in university while we are still in kin kindergarten. <laughs> and if you get a chance to meet your master or your true spiritual teacher, like you, you have, then that is always profound.
are most memorable. Okay. Do you follow a specific path, a specific teacher or a master or God? God. So can I can I ask you this very specific and very difficult question, what is God for you? Just shortly. Just a short version. Yes, <laughs> not one book, but. Guð er bara aflið, það er bara lífið, það er, það er allt, það er allt sem er. God is the power, it's life, God is life, and everything there is. Without him we wouldn't be. We are fragments of amatingness. We are fragments of his light. This is her expression. We are like sparks from his light. Mm -hmm. Can you explain your work that you're now drawing um, on different cities? You're explaining who is living there and what beings you can find and you're making whole maps. Can you perhaps say a few words about this is completely new? I don't yep. know of anybody else who does this. <laughs> yeah, I will until I say that that all that I get all that I take now so now that is just to get people to get Bera virðingu fyrir móðu jörð. Viltu, viltu segja yeah. þetta? Ég get þetta ekki. The only reason she communicates her vision is, and with marks like that, is so that people learn to respect Mother Earth. And so people learn that even though you don't see, doesn't mean there's nothing there, or that you can abuse it uh, just because you think that nothing is there. Uh, everything is alive and, and vibrant. This is a guide, mm -hmm. a guide for us to this is mostly to give you an idea that you're not alone and, and you're not the master of this realm. But just a tiny little bit. Yeah, and your actions have consequences. Mm -hmm outside of your normal senses. Okay, now comes the important question. Many things are going wrong in the world and we do many things bad for Mother Earth. What would be the most important things to improve our relationship with everything around us? What would be the steps to make the world better. Mm -hmm. Or I also can come a bit more concrete. We are kind of approaching a golden age, a transformation into a new kind of life and at, um, dimension. What is the most important steps and things we have to accomplish as human beings to reach this mm -hmm. state? I thank you, but að finna Guð í öllum, að, að, að því ekki að vættum næsta mann. Já, ég myndi ekki segja að væri svo eitthvað. Nei, ok. Að, þá, þá, þá jöfna, jó, ég er sko að það er, þú ferðið, jó, 
Hvis vi finder Gud i sammen os, eller man finder ham for, giver det mig hofte og hovedet. Ja, har vi det snuet her, vet jeg, skal vi? Ja, hvad er det? Hvad er det? Hvad er Ja, meditation and prayer is, is a good start. Uh, but seeing God in everything is, of course, what we need to uh, uh, accomplish. Um, yeah. Uh, some say that service to others is the key to the golden age. That's my addition, my personal. Yeah, that we we If we truly look for the divine core in every, everything, then everything would be Normal, if you like, <laughs> or everything would cost more. How long it will take us? <laughs> it will take us some more years, or will it take us some more dozens of years, or you mean for the golden age? Yes. Ah, yes, can mean that then. If we say, "Man, we need to hear that if later hundred years, I have a good day or so, I enter Loka." Ah, We've been saying that. for many hundreds of years that this day will be the day. You know, there will always has been an end. Uh, uh, what does she say? That she was saying that. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is her opinion? You mean that... that, that we could have said that you were going to... 2012, and in December, you would have said that you would have said that you I mean, if I day a marker out, I'll call him day. I would say, I see enter look out, feel leave it, or so I leave it held out from. And if I was a good, I get ended out at least, that's in so queer and partner's cup here. Had this as he was sexton or so, so sat you out your look as you were poor, say, I mean, that I in the hymn center some dark. Oh, yes, like a lot of the far from your merit. I get this no ekkert. She remembered when she was 16 year, years old, there she sat out in the window and she wanted to watch the end of the world that was predicted that day. And it didn't happen. Time is a peculiar beast that, you know, when we're talking of time, you know, when is the time? then time is relative and time can split and it can turn and it can come back on itself and and it's not a linear thing. So we can experience time from the past or from the future? No, we, we are experiencing and affecting the past by our actions in the present and and yeah. And that's that's how she can see into the past and into the future because it's all here already. Then how then please tell us how it will be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well I, I I can tell you that. She can see it but she cannot see if it's a day mm -hmm. but or, let, or a decade. Let her tell yeah. Perhaps she can say can, a few a few words about how she sees the future with her vision. You mean that we're far in the future? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 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 earthly earth, then you mean. Oh, yeah, it's a better feel, though. Great is that. Yeah, Elskan means that it's 
Og ég veit ekki hvað í hvað ártal þú vilt taka fram en ef þú ætlar að tala um svona 5000 ár bara sem er nú ekki sem er nú bara mjög stuttu tími að þá ef þú ferð yfir í öldina þá sér þú það að það hafa verið breytingar sem lönd hafa sokkið og önnur hafa risið og, og en líf okkar fólksins sveimir þá það fer mjög hægt við þráskomst hægt Þannig það er ekki miklar breytingar? Nei, en landfræðilega er það breytingar So, if you go only 5000 years into the future which is a short period to mark any change Yeah, uh, you can see that uh, some lands have sunk, sunk and other risen and the planet looks different, the continents are different, but the people are pretty much the same. We grow very, very, very slowly. Process is going slowly. Do you believe that the sun could speed up spiritual evolution on Earth? Gæti sólin haft andlega á jörðina? Já, Og eins og er það talið að það verður mikil aukning á sólkúsum allt fram til 2012 mun það geta haft á að lifta vitu fússins? Já, ég meina það, já, akkurat Já, já, engin vissulega en það er margir sem ekki þóla það Já Það er maður fyrst að vera orðin eitthvað andlur Já, já, eitthvað Ég myndi ekki taka svona þér orða Ég myndi segja við þurfum að vera vakandi Ég meina það eru það eru allir andlegir í sér og sér sko en við erum mismunandi vel vakandi Kolbúntur Can the sun expedite spiritual evolution on earth by emitting more solar flares and her answer is Definitely and you ask will that increase the awareness of people and she replied Or, or we reply that it will for some, but it will fry others that are, uh, cannot take it. Um, but uh, <clears throat> so is the key to be more spiritual to be able to take it, you know, to, but yes, but perhaps we could say that being more awake rather than spiritual is the correct to be more aware yeah and awake so the thing is if I cannot being spiritual you can be locked up in your own tower uh, and not being aware of what's outside of you so uh, So being awakened is the more aware, yeah, well, vacanti, meditator. When I see the vision, that that is what I want to say. That I was vacanti. Yeah, oh yeah, it's just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Could you tell us? Can I say something? Could you tell us a little bit about how it is to travel outside your body and going into? to other planets and who and what kind of people receive you? Já, ég fenn nú yfirleitt bara ég er nú orðin svo flink ég er nú orðin svo dúrlega við þetta ég er nú búin að gera þetta svo lengi að þetta er ekkert mál að fara út úr líkamanum en ég hef kent fólki að fara 
út með því að draga vitundina úr líkamannum og fara svo út um enni stöðina eins og fugl eða friðrildi en og reyna að koma með vitund til baka ekki sopna Já, það er eitthvað að fara Málið er að koma að koma til baka Já Nú, maður fer bara ég er svolítið barnalegt að segja frá því að ég hef alla mína tíð hérna í þessu lífi að farið eins að ég sko ég nota landnáms ringina sem eru opnir frá austri til vestus og ég fer í einni ringin sem er hérna suðvestur á landinu og fer þar í gegn og kem inn í þann ring þegar ég kem inn í þetta efni og fer þá inn í aðra heima þetta er bara svona eins og eins og Hlýð, já, já. Fórfið er okkar voru ekki svo vissla fyrir? Nei, þeir vissu sínum við. Já. Já, where to, where to begin? Já, hún reynt að svara það ekki spurningunni þetta ekki? Nei, það hún sagði það að byrja hún með eins og fugl og fljóð. Já, og sí, sí, sí. Þenni, þenni fólki þenni. She has always traveled out of body since she was a young child. And <clears throat> she has become quite good at it. And she teaches people her way of doing it. Um, she does that by teaching us to draw the consciousness from the body up to one point in the, at the third eye and there you exit as a bird or a butterfly. Uh, as to traveling to other planets, she, she uses a, a certain circles that our ancestors marked uh, on the planet uh, that are gateways, like portals. Uh, I'll start. I'll, so yeah. There are I mean, all over the planet yeah. naturally star natural stargates. Yeah. You mean uh you come till it er this is in the and and they're all on they're all over the planet. Uh, uh, and our ancestors would they would see them and know know how to use them. And they would build temples usually. Uh, and these these are circles that are open from the east to the west with uh, openings to the east and the west and she would enter in, enter at the east mm -hmm. and from there what uh, then when you ex so þú ferð út úr honum er þá komin á annar hann eða ferðu? Já, já, bara þarna á þessum stað, sko. Ég hef prófað að ég get gert það við þingvallarhringin, ég get það og ég get það þarna en ég get það ekki til dæmis Nei, við förum kannski norður, eitthvað svo líst Ég veit það ekki, ég veit ekki dag hverju en ég kann það ekki Það er svolítið fyndið en ég hef ekki skýringu á því she only knows how to operate those two, two, two portals. There are many portals on, on, on Iceland, but she only knows how to operate two of them. So which, which are the ones he, she uses? There's one at the, the Thingvallir, uh, our national park, and the other one is Kvara Reykjanesu. Yeah. On the... Of the Astaf. She can make this from here, or she has oh, yeah. to go yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 From here. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to go there. No, no, oh, no. But she uses them as a yeah. tool. Oh. If she wants to go mm -hmm. uh, to another planet. Mm -hmm. Are the beings on the other planets, are they benign? 
or are they hostile? Are they all good? Yes, they are all good. Yes, they are all good. Yes, they are all good. They are all good. They are all good. They are all good. Other beings are just like us. They are very, very different. <laughs> so they're good ones, bad ones? Yeah, and naughty ones, the funny ones, and, and the whole pack. Different shapes and sizes. Some, some people say that in the coming age and in the development of approaching the golden age, there might be some beings, some extraterrestrial from other worlds coming down yeah, right. officially to help us yeah. Getting new energies, Ernst getting new technologies. Yeah. Is this true? That is all in going. It's always been. Who are very famous? I've seen you very yet. All the technologies that you are asking for are already here. You just never got them. Yeah, we have them already. Like Tesla has all yeah. everything, <laughs> but we don't use them. No, yeah. and, and the beings have been here all the time, and they're always. So, how can we yeah. make this quicker that people understand that <laughs> the oil is not the best solution for energy, but like magnetic or zero point, or how can we tell the people to make this big? She, she doesn't have an answer to that. Let's, yeah. let's make a final question. What is your biggest wish for the future? Reina, come from with Líta fólk eða fólk sem er öðruvísi en þið eins og það væri ættingjar ykkar. Treat others. Treat others. Já, who are different from you as your own brother or sister. Okay, very good.